Hey, this is Lewis from Breakdance, and in this video, I want to show you how to set up a custom breakpoint. To do that, you're going to go to the dot 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 menu, open preferences, and then go to breakpoints. And here we can add as many custom breakpoints as we want. I'm going to add one for large devices, so I'll click add breakpoint. And I'm just going to call this large devices. Let's click add. And then I'm going to click here to set the minimum and the maximum widths. So I'm going to set my uh, maximum width, I'm going to leave it blank, and I'm going to set my minimum width to uh, 1600 pixels. And this breakpoint is going to apply to all devices above 1600 pixels. If we specify the maximum width, it would only apply between 1600 and 2000, but I'm going to leave maximum width blank, so no matter how big the device is, it will apply. It will apply. Under default preview width, I'm going to enter a custom preview width of 1800 pixels, and this is just going to let Breakdance scale the design down so I can see it on my smaller 13-inch screen as if it was an 1800 pixel screen. And let's go ahead and save that. And let's save the breakpoints. Okay, now let's create some styles that only apply for large devices. So here I have this heading. And under my uh, design properties, I've set the font size to 76 pixels. But for very large devices, I want it bigger. So let's go to that custom breakpoint that we set up for large devices and let's set it to 100 pixels. And now it's going to be 100 pixels on large devices and 76 pixels on desktop and below. We can also preview the device on, or preview the design on large devices by just clicking the breakpoints dropdown and choosing our custom breakpoint here. And as you can see, the preview is scaled nicely. Okay, that is how to create custom breakpoints using Breakdance.